It'll be interesting to see how this unfolds as Roosevelt takes the court with the possession, up by two. A chance to move on to the second round. Man, we, we're lucking out tournament. here with these girls games yeah. today. <laughs> Holy moly. And there's the press. Someone's got a streak. Fierce with a wide open. Fierce dishes it. Oh, they break the press. Finds Dean. Dean. Dean facing a trap Shaking with and bacon. And Thiers now charging in the lane. Gets the bucket to go. Count it. And that could be the dagger for tonight's game. Oh, man. Coming from Katie Thiers, the sophomore prowess down low. Roosevelt's going to go with probably going to send someone streaking away. Yeah. To try to get that sneaky pass. They'll probably put they'll probably put Thiers in to inbound the ball. She might be the strongest gal to throw the shotgun pass away. Yeah, but they cannot let it go because past half court. That, Otherwise, it's probably a wrap. Yeah. Banking That's the thing is, even if they steal it, and you throw it down on that end and they steal it, they still got to go the length of the court in two seconds. Mm -hmm. You just don't want them to steal it on their side by their hoop. Exactly. So it wouldn't hurt to throw a shot. There it goes. There's a shotgun pass. Oh, there we go. Sayonara. And that is That'll do it. a wrap. That's what I said. Roosevelt coming away with a victory, 60-56 to 56 over Peninsula. Moving on to the next round. And I swear I think... Peninsula was up probably 29 of those 32 minutes of that game, I feel like. They were up mostly the whole game. They were. Thiers is going to be a problem for several years. She's got a good-looking jumper. As, as some real solid post game. Good to, footwork. To add what she can do defensively, what she can do down in the low post, where she averages almost a double-double a game. To add another dimension to her game already, I mean, what more can you say? It's, it's impeccable. I mean, it, it, she's unbelievable with what she's been able to do.